I've got a joke for you. A surgeon dies, stands in line at the pearly gates to get into heaven. And he's waiting, and he's waiting, and he's waiting, and he's a surgeon. He's not used to waiting. So he goes to the front of the line, and he says to St. Peter, hey, what's the deal? I'm a doctor. Let me in. St. Peter says, well, young man, everybody's equal in death. Got to go back to the end of the line. Surgeon trudges back to the end of the line, not happy. A couple seconds later, this guy in a chariot charges by. He's got a white coat on, and his stethoscope is flying behind him in the breeze. St. Peter steps aside and lets the chariot go by with the doctor in it. Now the surgeon's furious. He stomps up to St. Peter and he says, what's the deal? That guy's a doctor. He got to go in. Why don't I? Oh, that guy, St. Peter says, that's God. He just thinks he's a doctor. Humor changes our perspective. Humor gives us a chance to see the world in a new way. We tell a joke about a doctor. It reminds us of some of the prejudices we have against doctors. Now, nothing I have to say against doctors. Some of my best friends are doctors. But it helps us underscore a reality we understand in the world, or at least a feeling we have, but it helps us see it in a new way. That's what humor does. Humor changes our perspective. It helps us see things a little bit differently. We spend so much time locked in to kind of our tunnel vision, seeing the world our own way. When we hear a joke, it can shape us, it can snap us out of it. Children are great at play. They'll give them something, particularly younger children, a box. It doesn't have to be anything special. And they'll fold it and they'll play with it. They'll turn it in all kinds of different ways. And it's a hat and it's a stand and, and it becomes a house and a spaceship all in a matter of minutes because they're not limited the way we are. Jokes remind us of our childlike playfulness. So when we have a joke, at hand, in mind, when we can see the humor in a situation, we take ourselves less heavily. We see ourselves a little more lightly. We can play with our situation. We can play with life. We can see it in a little bit of a different way. And it frees us. It frees us to new ideas, new possibilities. I've got another joke for you. A married couple adopt two twin boys. They name them Juan and Amal. The boys grow up, go to college, and graduate. And as a gift to his parents, Juan sends his mom a graduation photo. And mom is thrilled. She loves it. It's a beautiful photo, cap and gown, whole nine yards. She says to her husband, it's a great photo of a Juan, but I really wish Amal had sent one too. And the dad says, really, honey? If you've seen Juan, you've seen them all. Have a joke. Carry it with you. Let it help you change perspective. Let it help you play. Let it help you open up. Thanks for watching. If you like this, check out some of my other videos. Follow me on Instagram at Mark Progress Coach, Facebook, Mark Rothman Progress Coach, and leave your comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.